So gas prices, of course, have been falling. How bad is this for business? Yeah, they fell significantly over the summer, but remember, they're still triple the pre-crisis level, so businesses are still struggling with their energy bills. But the government has said yesterday in the House of Commons, it was Treasury Minister James Cartledge, that it's shrinking its energy support from £18 billion over six months to £5.5 billion over 12 months. And the reaction hasn't been a happy one. The UK Steel Lobby Group said that UK steel manufacturers are now getting less support than German manufacturers, making them less competitive. And the Federation of Small Businesses has said that businesses are either going to go to the wall or have to cut jobs if the government doesn't cough up more money. So, uh, Lizzie, are we close to a deal for pay with union workers? Well, it does seem that both sides are softening day by day. You remember over the weekend, the debate was about whether the Prime Minister would be open to the idea of negotiating on pay for this year, that's what the unions want, or is it just 2023, 2024? But what we've heard from the big talks yesterday between uh, the government and the union bosses is that the health secretary, Steve Barclay, seems to be willing to backdate pay, so kind of meeting in the middle on the time frame. And the Financial Times reports that potentially the government would be open to a one-off payment to help workers right. deal with the cost of living, something that you tend to see more in the private sector and the, 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 the Prime Minister's spokesman has ruled out before. So another two options, but still we're expecting ambulance strikes tomorrow, nurse strikes later in the month. Uh, and so it seems like both sides want an off-ramp, yeah. but for now they're still trying to choreograph a way that both look victorious. So we wouldn't probably get an agreement for the, for the next six weeks, or I mean, is it just impossible to say? I, I'm sure we'd all love to say that the chaos could come to an end, but I do feel optimistic that uh, things are moving. Yeah. But remember Remember as well, um, the anti-strike legislation is being brought forward today. Uh, so from the union's perspective, it's still a long way to go.